So this morning, it's 6.46 a.m., 11-21-2020. And this is just some of the stuff that I've read this morning. These are the strangest times and the craziest times I think the world has ever been subjected to. Listen to this stuff, you guys. In Oregon right now, if you are caught having a Thanksgiving party with more than five people at your house, you're subjected to a $1,200 fine and or time in jail. Meanwhile, you can smoke crack or snort coke or slam heroin without fear of punishment. And to add even more to the Oregon thing, how if you have gatherings of more than five for Thanksgiving, you might go to jail. If you burn down the city, the police won't bother you at all. They had another night of just absolute destruction with no interference from the police whatsoever. As of today, over 90,000 men have come forward with claims of sexual abuse or assault while they were boys in the Boy Scouts. 90,000 boys who are now men were assaulted sexually in the Boy Scouts. Holy shit. Looks like Pfizer and bio nanotechnology with an RNA vaccine will be the first to come to market. So that's Even though the entire time this COVID shit has been going on, the officials have been telling us that our only way back to normalcy is through a vaccine. And the only way we're gonna get out of this is with a vaccine. And the only solution is a vaccine. Now that we have a vaccine, all of a sudden, that is not the solution. That can't be the only solution. That's not what's gonna get us back to normal. That's only a piece of the process. And then I'm calling bullshit. Now my personal favorite and the most wow of the morning, human steaks may be on the market soon for human consumption. Human steaks for human, that's cannibalism, isn't it? No, because you'll be eating yourself. What? Check this shit out. Makers of Grow Your Own Human Steaks say meal kit is technically not cannibalism. Saying you are what you eat may soon become a lot more literal. A DIY meal kit for growing steaks made from human cells was recently nominated for Design of the Year. Name of the Our Bro Steaks after the circular symbol of a snake eating itself tail first. The hypothetical kit will come with everything that one needs to use their own cells to grow miniature human meat steaks. People think that eating oneself is cannibalism. Well, technically, it's not. But before you go running for your wallet, know this product is not available to buy yet. Before you go running for your wallet, how about before you go running for the toilet? This is so gross. So that this this right here, that is some of um, the meat steaks that they grew. Super gross. Growing yourself ensures that you and your loved ones always know the origin of your food and how it has been raised and that its cells were acquired ethically and consensually. The project was made as a critique of the lab-grown meat industry, which the designers told the magazine is not actually as animal-friendly as one might expect. Lab-grown meat relies on fetal bovine syrup from, for animal cell cultures from calf fetus blood. Lab-grown meat has not yet been approved for human consumption, though some products could hit store shelves in the next few years. Lab-grown meat industry is developing rapidly. It's important to develop designs that expose some of its underlining constraints. Our goal is to supply everything you need to creatively cultivate food from your own cells at home. Growing a steak would take about three months using cells taken from the inside of your cheek, the magazine reported. For the collection of sample steaks on display in the museum, the team used human cell cultures purchased from the American Tissue Culture Collection and grew them with donated blood that had expired and would have otherwise been destroyed. They preserved the final products in resin. Expired human blood is a waste material in the medical system and is cheaper and more or less sustain or more sustainable than the uh, calf fetus blood stuff, but less culturally accepted. 
weird, weird, weird time.